Hello everyone, this is my third video tutorial about the square byte inventory system and today I'm going to show you how to use a new crafting system. That system uh, was introduced in the uh, version 1.1 and improved in the uh, 1.2. Uh, so first uh, let's uh, start this scene. Okay, so... <coughs> You will notice some um, new additional cubes and some additional recipes or blueprints here. Uh, so let's pick these uh, items. I will show you what you can do with them. Here, cube. Okay, that's enough. And uh, access the workbench. So oh, first. Uh, you have option to create items uh, using the uh, blueprints or recipes. Uh, just click on them and it will show you what items you have in your inventory and what items you don't have. Uh, this one. Uh, and this is the result of item you will, uh, you will get by uh, crafting. And uh, the only option here is cancel crafting. Because we don't have or require the components. That's one way of crafting. I will show you another way. For this item to be crafted, you need uh, one sphere, uh, three cubes, and five lock picks. Uh, for this item, you need uh, two cubes uh, and one sphere. So let's click this one. You see, you can see I have uh, three cubes and three spheres in my inventory, and I have this option to craft with blueprint. This is the safer option because uh, components you have in your inventory will be removed uh, after you craft this item. But let's uh, try something else. Uh, two cubes and one sphere. Let's add two cubes, one sphere to this uh, workbench. You can now transfer items in your workbench uh, just like in uh, any other container. Uh, so now I have option uh, craft without blueprint. Uh, this is called blind crafting. You can uh, try to add items to your uh, workbench and you can try to craft them without blueprint. So that's uh, kind of crafting is a bit risky because uh, you don't know what you will get. As you can see there is no result here. Uh, you don't know what you will get, but you will lose your components even if you fail uh, with this crap. So, okay, I will try this this method. Uh, one cube, uh, one sphere. Uh, this combination I don't have in my uh, database, so uh, this will lead to uh, item craft fail. So, as you can see, fail to craft this item because nothing. Is uh, declared to be uh, craft uh, using these two items in that way. So let's try to add two cubes and one sphere and click. Successful crafted item, your new item appear in your inventory, you lose your components and everything just works. So let's close work bed for now. Just pause this for a second. Just add some additional cubes here. One, two, okay, three cubes will be enough. Add one sphere, two spheres. Okay, and uh, let's pick those uh, uh, lock picks from this chest. Lockpicks and uh, it doesn't matter. And let's try uh, to craft. Let's pick those items as well. Okay, and um, as you can see, now if I put this item, I get all components. And uh, this exact number will be subtracted to, uh, from your inventory uh, if you craft uh, 
this item. Okay, so let's try to uh, craft without this blueprint. So I need one sphere, I, I need three cubes and five lock picks. Three cubes, one sphere and five lock picks. Uh, if I cr um, craft this item right now, I will lose those components from my inventory. Even if I add more components, I will lose all of them. As you can see, I have only two lockpicks. And uh, click this, craft, successfully crafted item. I got my iron plate here, but I lost seven lockpicks instead of five. Because uh, this is blind crafting. You have the option to uh, craft it. If you know what items uh, uh, are necessary for uh, certain items, uh, this is useful because you don't have to search for the uh, blueprints if you know the outcome of the crafting. For example, you can just take a look at the blueprint, you can sell it to your shop, and you can still craft if you know uh, what items are necessary for that item. Uh, right now I'm gonna explain uh, how this works and what what actually you have to do to make this working properly. Uh, first thing you will notice here is this crafting database in your inventory system. This game object is added to uh, serve as a reference uh, for your items uh, that you can create uh, using your uh, workbench. Uh, so this item uh, has a hash table proxy component and as you can see I uh, have those blueprints uh, defined here. This this one is a armor blueprint, this one is a blueprint for a capsule and those uh, are UID codes for those items. You can find them under the item properties in a specification uh, FSM so this is uh, uh, for our uh, uh, BP capsule uh, UID and for the other one for our BP iron plate BP is the blueprint for a short version the blueprint okay so this database is the uh, most important thing here so if you define your items here uh, you can access them by uh, by your components. You can check is this blueprint here, and uh, this is very important for uh, blind crafting. Uh, but for uh, blueprint crafting, one other thing you need to do: you have to parent all of your blueprints. You have to parent them to this crafting database game object. As you can see, I have my armor blueprint and capsule blueprint parented. Why? Why is this important? Why I just can't define the items here and uh, just craft uh, that way? I will show you right now why this is important. Because, as you can see, all of my uh, blueprints. This is new. Uh, they have uh, two hash tables components. Because uh, each of these hash table will tell what uh, items uh, are necessary for crafting this item. So uh, here is the armor blueprint, and as you can see, cube, sphere, lockpick. This first hash table is called components, reference as components, so will tell what items you need, and the second one called count will tell using integer numbers how many of each of these items are necessary for crafting this item so this way you can just uh, pick any number you can for example say uh, I need a uh, hundred lock picks I need a uh, hundred uh, pieces of uh, wood to build a house or whatever it doesn't matter you just have to define here your components your component number here your uh, components here and the uh, workbench uh, when you press craft will use those uh, reference from here why not from here directly 
Well, that's uh, what I'm going to show you right now. So let's start the game again. Okay, game is uh, runtime. Let's pause it. And check those two items. As you can see, I have no access to these components and counts while the game is running. I can't access hash tables components for any hash table in your uh, asset database. That's why we have to add items directly to scene and then we can access them. As you can see, they are all here now. For armor blueprint and for capsule, they are here. And now we can access them properly. So let me show you how. In your inventory, under the FSM transfer, you have something new. Okay, let's uh, uh, press space to bring this uh, in bigger view. Okay, so what is new here? You had this in previous version. This is renamed a bit. Uh, just from container to inventory, from inventory to container. This is how you transfer your items. By sending this event, get event sender, check where is item currently, and then uh, use this uh, string switch action to compare it. Is it in inventory? Then transfer it to container. If it's in container, then transfer it to inventory. Uh, but if workbench is opened, when you open workbench, uh, this bool will be active and uh, true. If this work, if workbench is opened, then send event workbench is opened. That's uh, this event. And if this event is sent, it will have additional checks for items, same as this one, basically. But it will not send. Uh, this event from inventory to container and from container to inventory it will send depends on where item is is in inventory send it to workbench if is workbench send it to inventory so this this event from inventory to inventory to workbench and from workbench to inventory will be sent if workbench is open so that's uh, how you can transfer items and this uh, is basically the same as a uh, above one, uh, how you transfer items, how you check hash tables and other stuff. So this is important to send items to your workbench uh, using uh, the uh, blind crafting. So uh, basically now workbench works as a container, uh, same as other containers. You can store items in inside of it.